Hello, this is Lacrography. Thanks for joining me this month for the Smidgen of Us August box. And the theme for this box is Fall and Halloween. Now, this box actually is already open. This is a pre order box and it's available from August the 23rd from 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time to August the 30th. 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and orders will ship three to four weeks after the box closes. So I've already gone in and I've made a wish list just from first reaction. So my wish list is a little long, but let's take a look at some of the items. The first item up on my wish list is my only non polish item, and this one's by Ribbit Stickets, and it's the Unforgettable Hand and Cuticle Cream, a really great product, and I've grown to really love it. And I actually have quite a few stashed away, but this month it was the, the scent that really caught my eye. And the description of this one is that it's in the scent of apple maple bourbon. And it comes in a two ounce jar, and it says apple maple bourbon scent description. Um, is crisp apples, rich vanilla, and maple infused with bourbon. So this really does sound like it's a lovely fall themed scent. And I don't have this one yet at all. And even though I do have several of their products in waiting, ready for rotation, <laughs> but this one is definitely unique for me. I'd love to give it a try. Now I do have to watch out a little bit. There's only 25 available. The cap of 25 means that there's only 25 available. And when they're sold out, that's it. It's considered sold out. So that's something I'll have to watch out for. Ribbit Stick It's Unforgettable Hand and Cuticle Cream. This next item up is by Sizzlin Shades Nail Lacquer. And just for the sake of keeping it clean, I'll, uh, I'll edit my words a little bit. I'll call it Bat Shoot Crazy. And this item, really cool here, Looks like a topper to me. It's inspired by a picture of a witch on her broom in front of an orange full moon surrounded by bats. And the description for bat shoot crazy is a topper with orange gold large particle shimmer, black bat glitter, that's interesting, uh, purple and black shreds, hollow flake, and black and iridescent glitter. So actually that's pretty intriguing. I do not own anything in my collection that has black bat glitter. So that sounds very unique. So here's a great picture of uh, the topper over several different bases. We've got a couple of colors here, like a, a pink and a purple and uh, probably a black and a white. I can see a bat glitter right here. Uh, I just think this one's kind of cool. It looks good over a lot of different colors, the typical black and white, also some colors. The fact that there's bats in there is completely unique for me. Just choosing another one here to take a look at. And this one may be over either a uh, blurring base coat underneath or maybe not, maybe just over a, uh, a new nail. Um, but it looks to me like there's another bat right here. Um, very cool offering, and I like that it's versatile enough that it looks quite good over a variety of different colors. That one's very unique to me and on the wish list. The next item up on my wish list is Rain Dance Lacquer's Foliage Again. And actually, I don't own anything yet by Rain Dance Lacquer, so for me right away, that's appealing. I'd love to try a, a new to me brand or a new to my collection brand. And this one's really a gorgeous fall offering. I'm loving the colors, the glitters. Um, let's go down to the description. So the inspiration for this one comes from fall trees and leaves. And the description is that foliaged again is a squishy mustard yellow crelly with a mix of gold, orange, hollow, magenta, and dark plum glitters. So all those components are all beautiful fall things. And that, to me, that really shows up in these swatch images here. Um, I, I like the, um, the quality of the base, the color of that sort of mustard yellow base and the, the multicolored glitters in there that do um, bring to mind the fall leaves. It's just, it's really beautiful. It would be unique to my collection. I don't have a Crelly in that kind of a, um, a color combination. And I'd really like to try this brand, Raindance Lacquer 
foliaged again. The next one up is another offering from Rain Dance Lacquer, and this one's called Aura of Autumn. Now, I think that up here, Raina Phillips, I believe that's the name of the maker, as far as I understand. So I do think that the brand itself, though, is probably still Rain Dance Lacquer. So again, a, a maker that I, I've, I don't own any of their polishes, and um, it's been catching my eye quite a bit, not just with this box, but for other offerings. Uh, in the past as well. So the description of Aura of Autumn is that it was inspired by an ethereal fall scene. And the description is that it has a beautiful shimmery purple base that's filled with ultra chrome flakes shifting through red, orange, and yellow. Yeah, I was really loving the look of the flakes against this base. I really do think it's quite beautiful and unique to my collection and a beautiful interpretation of fall. So Rain Dance Lacquer, I believe it, I'll, I'll mention the maker's name as well. I believe that's the maker's name, Raina Phillips. And this polish is called Aura of Autumn. This next polish up is by Jen and Berries and it's called Slashing Pumpkins. It's a beautiful shimmery polish. So the description of this one is that it is a neon blurple base with green teal blue shifting shimmer and holographic micro flakies. Just clicking on another image before I scroll up. Yeah, the, <laughs> it looks very deep and beautiful there. Um, yeah, really pretty polish. It's uh, it's really quite beautiful. That glow is appealing. Now I do have to take a look at my collection to see how this one uh, compares with some other blue, purple, blurple, indigo type uh, polishes that I already have. But this one is really beautiful. It caught my eye on the screen and so it is on my wish list. So Jen and Berry's Slashing Pumpkins. This next polish up is by Sassy Cats Lacquer and it's called Tonight We Fly. So the description of this polish is that it is a matte turquoise with purple pink shifty shimmer plus reflective glitter. And it says, no, this dries matte. Add some top coat for a whole different look. Add some glossy top coat and it will bring out the shift of this beauty. And um, it's interesting to me, it is a matte polish, but it has shimmer and reflective glitter. I know I don't own any matte polishes uh, that have shimmer and reflective glitter. I don't have any matte polishes with reflective glitter whatsoever. It looks like there's quite a bit of reflective glitter from this swatch photo. I'm, I'm really quite curious about that, what the look of a polish where it's intended to be matte with reflective glitter. That, that's so interesting to me. I've actually never even tried to put um, a matte top coat on top of a reflective glitter shimmer polish before. Uh, but maybe that's something, maybe that's a thing. Maybe that's a thing that I need to try. But I am curious to try a polish that was actually intended to be that way. Um, very cool and unique offering. Actually, to me, it almost looks like um, twinkling stars there <laughs> in the mat. It's That's a very cool look. Um, yeah, I'll have to really think about that. To me, that's very innovative, really creative. And uh, Sassy Cats Lacquer is a brand that I've been enjoying lately. So Sassy Cats Lacquer, tonight we fly. Now I have a second intriguing offering by Sassy Cats Lacquer called Collapse Into Fall. So the description of this polish is that it is a matte cobalt with tons of different shifting flakies. Notice this dries matte, put on some glossy top coat to make the flakies pop two looks in one polish. So that's so interesting to me, another matte polish. Um, but again, you put on a glossy top coat and I'm more typically a glossy polish wearer. I do apply glossy top coat after almost any manicure I give myself. Um, but so cool to have this, this matte cobalt flaky polish. And I mean, these swatch photos are all really beautiful and I'm liking its look matte as well. Um, yeah, two really interesting offerings there by Sassy Cats Lacquer, both matte polishes and both very different from one another. So this one is by Sassy Cats Lacquer, Collapse Into Fall. 
Ooh, those flakies on this one. This is an offering by Lemming Lacquer and it's called Hellebore. So the description of this polish is, uh, it says indulge in the floral elegance of our Hellebore nail polish where petals meet alchemy in a single stroke. This blackened warm purple jelly reminiscent of twilight blossoms with a tapestry of red to bronze to copper to gold multi-chrome shimmer. Delicate flower-like flakes enchantingly shift from red to pink to orange to gold to green, like tinctures distilled from nature's palette. With each application, your nails become a canvas adorned with the transformative hues of a blooming garden at dusk, capturing the essence of petals and potions in harmonious elegance. And this, of course, is inspired by the poisonous plant, Hellebore. The description is just about as beautiful as the polish. So yes, the flakies, I mean, the layering of those flakies uh, with that base. Um, here's one where it looks like there's quite a few layers, huge flakies layered one on top of the other. Um, I wish there was an indication of how many coats the swatchers used for these because I, I love how there's quite a few different looks that the swatchers have provided uh, for the, the website. Yeah, it's just, it's really beautiful. The flakies, the shifts, the, um, the colors. I mean, it's just a beautiful interpretation of fall and hellebore. This polish is Lemming Lacquer Hellebore. The next offering on my wish list is by All Mixed Up Lacquers. It's fall, y'all. All the beautiful fall colors here. And actually, I've got to say the stamping on top of it looks pretty adorable and, uh, and whimsical. I'm kind of liking that look a lot. So the inspiration for this polish is All Things Fall Photo. And the description for It's Fall, y'all, is a sheer white crelly base loaded with orange, yellow, gold, green glitters, and a scattering of green shimmer. Yeah, it really is all the fall things right here. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This really is gorgeous. I love the fall colors in there. The um, I can see what they mean by a, a sheer white crelly base, which I think is beautiful to show off those colorful glitters, those magical colorful glitters. I'm really enjoying the look of this. And um, this great offering is all mixed up lacquers. It's fall, y'all. Now this final offering on my wish list is another mixed up lacquers polish. And uh, this one is called the most wonderful time of the year. Again, this one looks really beautiful as a background for some stamping. I, I really like the, uh, the contrast there. That's, that's interesting. I don't really do nail art yet, but I have purchased recently a few uh, plates, stamping plates. So I would like to give stamping a try and uh, this is getting me really want to try it soon. So the description of this one is that it is a golden orange base with heavy gold green shifting shimmer. And the inspiration is an all things fall photo. Yeah, that shimmer really is a strong shimmer. It looks glowy. Um, it's really beautiful. I, I don't know what to say. I love orange as well. I have actually bought quite a few orange polishes recently. I think I'm feeling all those fall vibes. I like wearing orange in the summer as well. It is one of my favorite colors in life. I love wearing orange too, uh, in clothing and things like that. So I do have to take a close look at how this one compares with others that I've purchased recently, but I do love the look of this one. And I'm also really liking its uh, potential here as a base for some fall nail art. All mixed up lacquers, the most wonderful time of the year. So I was curious and I did a little thing here. I tried zooming in uh, with my screen um, just to get a better view of the two mixed up, all mixed up lacquer polishes side by side because I mean, when I saw the stamping on top, I was sort of thinking more in terms of nail art opportunities. So I wanted to just take a little bit of a look at the all mixed up lacquers, it's fall, y'all. The um, the white glitter crelly uh, next to the orange shimmer called the most wonderful time of the year. And actually, I am kind of wondering if maybe the two of these paired together could make some interesting fall skittle manis. So that's another thing that may play in a little bit to my decision making process. 
And once again, I, I kept my computer on Zoom here and I, I took a look at the two offerings side by side here by Sassy Cats Lacquer. These were the two matte polish offerings by Sassy Cats Lacquer that would both be very unique to my collection. And I just wanted to see what they look like side by side. Now on this one, it's pretty hard to tell because the, um, the lead shot here on the landing page for the polish offerings looks to be taken here with flash photography. So it, it's a little bit hard for me to tell what the actual base color looks like in comparison between the two of them from these two photos here. But I am wondering if the two of these really interesting, unique polishes to my collection could be skittled or used in some way for some nail art. This one I'm not as sure about, but um, I thought it was worth a look for Sassy Cat's Lacquer's offerings. So that's it for my wish list this month. I have a uh, three, six, nine, 10 items on my wish list. That's nine polish items and one non polish item with the uh, Hand and Cuticle Cream by Ribbit Stickets. So, 10 items on my wish list. I have been over buying over the last few months. So, I do have to really consider carefully what I'm thinking of purchasing if I purchase at all. But I've got to say, there were some very unique offerings this month, many of which are totally, completely unique to my personal collection. Those matte polishes, um, some unique glitter crellies in there, the topper with the bats, um, for me, a unique uh, scent for a hand and cuticle cream that I love, and a couple of brands that I really haven't purchased from before that I would like to give a try. So some really incredible offerings this month. I, I have a lot of thinking to do and um, I'm really not supposed to be purchasing, but I may not be able to pass some of these items up this month. Thanks so much for joining me this month for my Smidgen of Us wish list for their August box with a the theme of fall and Halloween. This one is an excellent one. So much originality, so many cool items. And uh, it's not just polish, but it's toppers. There's, there's nail art items. There's, there's hand, and, uh, hand and body care. Incredible items, all of them with a fall and Halloween theme. This pre-order box is available from August the 23rd at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern time, which has already passed. And it's available until August the 30th, uh, until 11 p.m. Eastern time. And orders will be shipping three to four weeks after the box closes. So thanks so much for joining me. I'm curious, are you shopping this month from Smidgen of Us? What kinds of items are on your wish list? Can you help me out with mine? There's a lot of really original items here. And oh, when, the, when items are original, um, it, it really makes me want to purchase them. It, it's sort of that thrill of the find. And considering these are limited pre-order boxes. I mean, once they're gone, they're gone. So this is going to be a very tough one for me, especially when I need to do a much, much better job of watching the budget this month. So thanks again for joining me. If you like this type of content, please feel free to like, comment, and join in the conversation and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.